G'day everybody, this is the Australian Government and today we'll be running you through some key facts about Australian housing and how we will fix some of these pressing issues. First of all, 97% of rental properties are too expensive for a minimum wage earner. This means that 3% of investors are currently missing out on bare minimum rental returns. That's just not on, and quite frankly, un-Australian. So it's my government's promise to you that by 2023, we'll get this figure up to 100%. That's the only way to make sure that the average high-income Australian gets the rental income they deserve. Next, Australia is the third least affordable housing market in the world. That's not good enough, guys. That's only a bronze medal. As Australians, we don't like bronze medals. We like gold, and lots of it. Guess who's beating us? Hong Kong and f***ing New Zealand. Australia, shown in red here, only has a housing affordability of 6.9 times average income. New Zealand has 8.6, and bloody Hong Kong, 20.8. Sure, that puts us all in the severely unaffordable category, the highest category that exists, but that's not good enough. We're Aussies after all. That's why from today, the Australian government are making it a national priority to go for gold. No more pussyfooting around. Instead of 6.9, we're aiming for 26.9 by 2025. Yeah, eat that Hong Kong and New Zealand. Our property prices will be almost 27 times our average income. That'll earn us the gold medal and our rightful place in history. Bloody Kiwis think they can outperform us. Next, there's a rumour going around that the Labor and Liberal parties took over $17 million in donations from big banks and property developers since 2012. Bloody oath, these industries can afford to give us money, and they should be giving us bloody more. How can they expect us to keep property prices high and everybody in debt for such a paltry sum? Our goal this year is to get this figure up to $100 million. Luckily for us, we already get millions of dollars of unexplained income every year. Did I just say that out loud? Energy companies have donated over $1.8 million to the big parties, while household electricity costs have doubled over the last 10 years. If they were smart, they'd donate more so we can really help them boost their profits. While we're here, a few other key facts. Corporate profits are growing twice as fast as wages. One in four people living in poverty are working full-time. One in three of Australia's biggest companies pay no tax. 40% of Australians are in insecure work. The big banks made $31.5 billion in profit last year while taking money from people who had died and charging fees for no service. 87% of public schools are underfunded, but that's okay because 85% of private schools are getting more public funding than public schools. More than a third of adults delayed seeing a dentist due to cost, and 17% of university students regularly go without food or other necessities. Anyway, they're the key facts for today. As you can tell, Australians love helping their mates, and that's exactly what we at the government are doing every day. Helping our mates. Our rich, corporate, banking mates. Any questions? 